Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is uh, Gillow78 and then uh, my buddy's Biplane Flyers. Uh, we're going to go ahead, as you can see, we got the uh, Axial uh, SCX10s, the truck build kits, the Dingoes. Awesome. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to do a build series together and uh, build these trucks up, get them going. They'll be, it should be sweet. Uh, Make sure you check out my buddy's site too. He just started his. Uh, this is Biplane Fires. He's on my page. You can actually Mister, get to him. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Biplane Fires. You can get to him through my page. So uh, check it out. But we're going to do a build series together on these trucks. Um, we're not going to bore you with actually assembly. We're going to talk about what we're going to assemble on the part and the fixture area and what we're going to do. So uh, that way you can kind of come along with us if you want to get the old kits and do this at the same time but uh let's go ahead and get these things unboxed and uh let you guys check out the parts see how easy that was uh basically got all the parts laid out you got your dingo bodies windshield your light bucket kit all that good stuff your tires bags of parts we're not going to go through it all. There's no sense to going through every individual thing. But uh, you get a good rough idea of what the part bags look like. They're all lettered, numbered. Uh, now, there is one thing. i get the book out here. Uh, my cousin, um, actually, uh, on page 10, he got the same kit. He's already started on his. Uh, there's already been one thing about our kits that we had to call Axial. They were great with us. They responded with us real fast. Um, are these uh, Axial uh, dog bone? They are too short, so we're actually going to have to pass pass this steps one, two, and three, and four and five. We'll have to pass those steps up till the till the actual lakes come in, I guess. They had a big, uh, they may be doing, I don't know if they're going to do a recall, I really don't know. But uh, they had called my cousin too and let him know that they're in their warehouse, they had the same problem. So they're, I think they're going to be pulling some kits back and getting it fixed or they're going to send the actual dog bones. It's only the front axle that the problem <laughs> came, came in hand to. So I just thought I'd bring that up. We're going to start off at step six and uh, kind of start our build there. Um, don't forget to subscribe to uh, Mr. Biplane Fires here, too. Subscribe to him. He's going to be doing a build series, too. We're, like I said, we're going to be doing it together. But uh, he'll actually have his own video footage of the uh, of the kit build, too. So you guys make sure you check out his page. Watch his videos. Uh, like I said, I've never seen anybody do this. So I, think, I thought it would be kind of cool to do a, a joint build video series. So, uh Make sure you subscribe and all that, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to start on step six, get the build going. We're also going to be waterproofing these trucks, so we'll uh, let you guys know how we waterproof them and get them all started in that perspective, too. So, uh, all right, hang tight. We're going to go ahead and get started on step six, so uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys. We're getting ready to start step six. As you can see, I got bag A out. Uh, by Mr. Biplane Fire over there, he's got bag A out, he's kind of already opened some of his bags. Uh, a few things here, um, like I said, right now we're starting on the rear diff, or the rear axle, sorry, and uh, because beans of the dog bone situation with the front. But uh, <clears throat> here is uh, some marine grease, we're going to be using this instead, um, DJ Medic. From RC Sparks, uh, recommended this stuff. This is what he uses in his trucks. And uh, you guys want to check out some good videos? You should go check him out. He's got some really good stuff. But uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of heads up where we're at here. We're getting ready to start on step six. And uh, <clears throat> basically, that's about it. So we'll. Uh, We'll be back after we get this rear axle built, and we'll let you know what we think. And if there's any differences or changes in between while we're building, I'll hit the video camera up and let you guys know. All right, we'll be back. 
Hey guys, well we've been through, let's see, uh, step six, seven, eight, and nine, which gives us this uh, finished product of the uh, rear axle. And uh, it's running freely. I mean, this was a pretty easy build here. This it wasn't was pretty, bad. pretty simple. Yep, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, so we're done with that part. We uh, now we're going to move on to uh, step ten, which requires opening bag B. It says, and that's the uh, axles. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I was watching a few other build videos. They said something about that you have optional. You can actually change the different shafts, like different lengths. So we'll mess around with that a little bit, kind of get a rough idea. On that, we'll let you guys know what, where we go with that and all that good stuff. So, uh, I guess that's enough jibber jabbering right now. We get moving on to the uh, next part. So, we'll go ahead and put our rear drive shafts and put them to the side for right now and get them uh, ready to go when we're all ready to go for the to be put on the truck once we get there. But, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move to step 10, which is the axles, and then when we get done with that, we'll be back. Thanks. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, we, uh, we're down here. We just got the axles finished up. They are uh, pretty simple. It wasn't hard at all. Uh, the cool thing about the axles is they got little rings. Um, if you guys remember the uh, retainer ring that comes with the, with the original axial that you had to buy that was optional. Uh, point this out here. Right there. It comes with it now. It's plastic, which still holds the pin in, which is nice. I know the older kids had problems where the pin would fall out and, and the whole drive shaft would fall apart. And you're talking about that little piece right in there. Yep, that plastic ring. This is the uh, metal version you can buy that's optional. Um, I know DJ Medic, he runs the metal rings. He loves them. He swears on them. Uh, but now that this kit here, the... Now that the Dingo it comes with the plastic ring, you don't even really have to go with the metal, which I think is kind of nice. Now, granted, there's a few things about this kit that I would have to disagree with. Uh, I think they should have way more better parts being the kit. That should have been metal in my eyes. They should have gave us this one instead of this one. Just because, hey, I'm spending, I'm going to spend the money on the kit. Yeah, the kit's a little cheaper, but... The one thing I look at it as, I'm not getting electronics or nothing like that. Give me the better parts, you know. That's one of the things I kind of got to say about it. But uh, in all actuality, it's been going together pretty good. Now, there was another mistake that the book came across. On here it says open bag B to get to these parts. Well, it's not B. It's actually bag C. Which bag C also has other parts in it that don't even obtained to uh, this whole axle area so that's kind of weird but hey we followed them just kind of dig through the parts and yeah, find out what you just need just watch your packages really yeah. look in your packages exactly ah uh, another cool feature that they did was the uh, axles they gave you three different size choices small medium and large i guess the large the kit prefers they tell you to use the medium in the kit but the large, I guess, is for part if you want a stretcher kit, make it into a honcho, because the honcho, you know, has a little bit longer of a wheelbase. So that kind of changed it up, which I thought was kind of cool that that comes with that option. You just, I guess, there's a few other parts you gotta buy to to stretch it to make it that way. But uh, let's go ahead and move along here. And uh, but anyways, building the actual axles. If you follow the directions here, it's really simple. It's simple. It's, a, it's an easy build, so it goes along pretty well. But uh, our next step here is the uh, springs and shocks. Uh, we're going to get started on those. Uh, and also, on the book here, if you guys can see it, it comes optional with the, it looks like fake piggybacks, which I think is kind of neat that they come up with something like that for more realism of the truck, because, you know, that's what these are all about. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the piggybacks. You have different choice. You can run either one. But I think I'm going to go with the piggybacks. But uh, there's a few things I have heard about these. 
I heard they have a leaking problem. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I may end up eventually buying piggyback shocks, real ones. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But, uh, but yeah, they supposedly have a leaking problem, but we'll see what, what goes on. If we run into any situation problems with this as we're putting it together, we'll uh, fire the video up. But like I've been telling us with this whole this whole build process, there's no sense of boring you with the video running. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on this, and we'll be uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, real quick here, I just wanted to kind of show you. These here are just for four shocks. I just wanted to kind of give you a rough idea. Of all the stuff you need just to build just four shocks. I mean, there's a lot to shocks. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a close look, closer look at everything here. And, um, and again, there's the book showing everything for building the shocks. But uh, if we uh, run into any problems with these shock parts here, we'll. Uh, We'll get to you guys, let you guys know if there's any issues and uh, all that good stuff. But there's our, there's uh, Mr. Biplane Flyer and his uh, layout, too. He's all ready to go. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. Well, all right, fellas, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, the shocks are all done, all four. They uh, turned out pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied. I mean, they're not bad. They're not leaking. Yeah, we have no leaks. Uh, a lot of guys are saying that they're having leaking issues. I know a lot of the ready-to-runs have been coming, and they've actually shown leakage on the ready-to-runs. But uh, so far, they're uh, they're pretty good. So I'm very surprised, very happy so far. Not unless they're overfilling them. That yeah, could be. But anyways, uh, these here. I uh, watched some of the videos last night that I did this uh, yesterday. And uh, noticed I was calling these the axle. Yeah. Drive shaft, guys. We all know this. You guys are probably laughing right now, and I don't blame you. But uh, <laughs> that'll be a pretty late night. And so, yeah. Long day. But anyways, we all know that this is not an axle. This is a drive shaft. So uh, I just had to rephrase that and fix that. So I didn't look too much like an idiot. But anyways... I uh, believe this is going to be the end of video one build series. Uh, we're going to start video two uh, build series here. And it's going to contain uh, adding the uh, drive shaft to the axle and then putting the shocks on. We're uh, still waiting on our front axle part to come in, the dog bones to come in. They still haven't came in yet, so still waiting on those. Once we get those, we can get the uh the next thing built the the uh, front axle so but anyways thanks for watching make sure you subscribe thumbs up if you like the video uh hopefully we get this truck done here soon and get some good cool rock crawling videos going i got a big huge group of people that's ready to do this so uh hopefully we can get some good video footage all right guys peace make sure you Subscribe for more RC action to come your way.